As developers, we like having fast, snappy feedback when we're developing features. Continuous delivery aims to extend this to entire applications and systems. So when you complete a feature, you push that feature and keep your users happy in a safe, responsible way, of course. Now with one developer, that's easy enough to achieve. But add more developers and a team in, things start getting confusing. Everyone's on top of each other's deployments. So of course you need to have process in place. You maybe need to have someone that manages the deployments and they'll have checklists that they go through before they decide whether to deploy something. Needless to say, this becomes a bottleneck. Continuous delivery eliminates this bottleneck by using CI servers, test servers, and a lot of automation that verify features as they are committed to the repository and then automatically deploy passing builds. This works quite well, but the CI and test environments are often under-resourced and can come under stress as more projects and teams come on board. This can undo some of the benefits of continuous deployment. What if we could take those developer resources and move them to the cloud themselves? Our app may well already be running in the cloud, and this is what we call continuous cloud delivery. This works by moving the CI servers, the test services, the automation all into the cloud. Now it's time for a demonstration of continuous delivery on CloudBees. CloudBees has all the moving parts you need to get this done, including Jenkins, that Jenkins CI that you've probably heard of, source repositories, development and monitoring tools, runtime platform as a service, all available uh, with a single click. Firstly, what I'll do is choose a click start that matches the type of project I want to deploy. A click start is the quickest way to get going as it sets up all the moving parts for you. Source, build, database, services, the lot. In this case, it will be a play to click start. The click start is going to clone the template repository into your own private repository, create a Jenkins job that runs tests and should those tests pass, it deploys to production. You can also create things like databases, Mongo databases, and any other needed services that your application might need. We give our application a name and let CloudBees do the rest. Our app is now running, and this is our app. It's the first time it's run, so it's gonna give us the Git URL that we can copy and use to clone locally. We now open and edit this application on our workstation. It's a play app, so we're just going to add one line of code. We now push the changes from our local workstation to CloudBees. That triggers off the continuous deployment process, runs the tests, the tests pass, and we can see our application will now be running in production. And that's it. How you customize your app and your deployment process from here is up to you.